Hey guys, it's me Kate again. So uh, this uh, video will be my updated, updated version of favorite books, my favorite books of all time. I do not have all of them right here because uh, we will be looking at a pile uh, uh, roughly two meters high, if not more. But uh, because some of them are uh, in the same series, I'll use just one of them as a stand -in for all of them. So uh, I'll show you in the, in the example of the first series, which is uh, and, uh, Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone, which is stand -in for actually the, all the books in this series. So, uh, we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the, the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So in this series you are following a go boy, as you would figure out, named Harry Potter, who on his 11th birthday finds out he's a wizard and goes to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry when, where he and his friends go uh, manage to do all kinds of stupid things and actually in one book, I think it's the third one, when it, that one's subject of trouble and he says I don't go looking for trouble, the trouble finds me. But how much that is true is. No. A, a, a debate we'll have another day. Then we have Wonder Woman War Binker, which is uh, San Libardugo, which is sent for this entire series, which consists of Wonder Woman War Binker. Then Batman Nightwalker by Maria Lu, Superman Dawn, uh, Catwoman Soul Fear by Sarah Jim Mass, and Superman Dawnbreaker by Matt Della Pena. And I think a couple of months ago, the fifth one, uh, which is Black Canary one, uh, just came out. So in this series, we're following uh, reimagined backstories of DC characters, all written by popular YA authors. Then we have another entire series and that's Spellslinger series which by Sebastian de Castell which is, consists of Spellslinger, Shadow Black, uh, Charmcaster, Soulbinder, Queen Slayer and Crown Breaker by Sebastian de Castell of course. In this one we are following a uh, guy named Kellen who is just about to take his major trial but his magic starts failing so he decides to cheat but nothing is as easy as it seems and stuff goes from there then we have another series actually again I'll use just first book for the sending mostly because one is Ebook novella, which you can only get by signing up to author's newsletter, and that's Kiss My Chronicles uh, by Lisa Kasa, which consists of Witch Blood, Witch Bond, Witch Bane, and novella Witch Minion, and another one is coming this spring, I think. I think. So, in this series, we're following Sebastian, who is a kitsune, which is a uh, Japanese nine-tailed fox, fox spirit uh, to, and something happened to him uh, a year ago uh, and he's been on the, run ever, on the run ever since until now and he bumps into an alpha werewolf named Liam who actually saved, uh, saved him a year ago and it's almost between two of them and definitely one of uh, better characters in the series is Liam's daughter who somehow manages to 
pure comedic relief and all of that. Then we have uh, stalked by shadows, marked by shadows, possessed by shadows and conventional shadows all by Lisa Casey, all part of Simply Crafty series. In this series we're following a guy who has just come back from the army and he is suffering from PTSD. Which actually, and because of that he has a trouble finding a job. So it just happens that his twin brother knows a guy who needs a bodyguard because he's leading uh, tours of hunting places in New Orleans and those tours are being targeted by hooligans so our main character then that way gets a job that, uh, and it's romance between him and his boss and then we have Hidden Gem Cardinal Sins, Candleland and Madness Carnival by Lisa Casey all part of Hidden Gem series in this series we are following Aki who has a pow uh, possesses a power when he touches an object he can see uh, object, uh, history of its owner and that is really helpful to put to the police which is now dealing with a string of uh, abductions and when the newest victim is taken they uh, two detectives come to Aki with one of her things so they can find out what happened to her. And it's runs between Aki and one of the de detectives on the case. And then we have Felix Ever After by Kenson Calendar. In this one we're following a boy named Felix who is black, queer and transgender. And one day he becomes a victim of transforming bullying in school, uh, which uh, consequently lands him in the quasi love triangle uh, between him, his best friend, and his best friend's ex. And it, this book is really fun. And I actually reread it earlier this year. <laughs> year. Then we have. This one, The Army for Empire by Abigail Gibbs. In this one, we're following Violet Lee, who, while waiting her, for her friend to go into Club of Venice's uh, massacre of about 30 men by this group of six guys, who actually take her with them because she's the only witness, and ends up, uh, it turns out they are vampires. Two of them, one of them being a vampire uh, heir to the vampire throne and one of the others just happens to be his younger brother. And stuff of, go, of course goes from there. Then we have, I'm not sure where the book is. It has to be here. Then we have Girl Online, the Girl Online on tour and going solo from Zoe Sag. In these books we are following Penny who is a blogger and one day after a particularly embarrassing incident in school, her parents offered to take her with them on this wedding they're planning in New York. She kept and uh, in New York she meets a uh, musician named Noah and it's their woman. Then we have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which is about a cat who is a big fan of this book series in about Simon Show. Uh, Simon, Simon Snow and even writes fan fiction about it. And now she is just about to go on to college. And one day uh, she wants to be a roommate with his, uh, her twin sister, but but her twin sister wants to meet other people and they and takes another roommate, which le leads Cat uh, in this really funny situation with her roommate, 
whose friend always hang out in their room and it's really fun and really cute then we have a nose and we barely managed to get it what if it's us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera where we are following Arthur and Ben who meet each other in New York post office and then go on to a series of disastrous dates then we have Gemina which I also own about this somewhere at the moment uh, which is the second book in the Women I File series um, in this year they are following characters connected to the space colony Karen Zafor so in the Illumina we are following two characters who actually got evacuated for the, from the colony in Gemini we are following two characters on the space station where uh, the people who got evacuated can, uh, are supposed to come to and then in the third one we are following uh, uh, cousin of the girl from the first book who actually didn't manage to get to the eva evacuation area in time because she was working and uh, one of the agents of the company that actually uh, uh, attacked the colony and then we have <laughs> We're not even near the end. Why? Then we have Aurora Rising and Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Christoph. In this series, we're following Squad 312, uh, which is basically a band of misses that have to save the galaxy. So uh, we're following uh, uh, Tyler Jones, who graduated on top of his class in Space Academy but because he was late on his graduation ceremony instead of uh, uh, choosing the best of the best he ends up uh, being stuck at the bottom of the barrel and he was late because he was saving a girl named Aurora and now uh, their squad consists of Tyler Aurora, a cop a diplomat with black belt in sarcasm, a sociopath scientist uh, with fondness for shooting her bunkmates, smartest tech whiz with Galaxy's biggest chip on his shoulder, an alien warrior with anger management issues, and a tomboy pilot who's so tall not in tight in case you were wondering. Uh, and then we have a quart, of me, uh, a quart of Thorns and Roses, a quart of Mist and Fury, a quart of Rings and Ruin, a quart of Frost and Starlight, and a quart of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mess. All uh, books that were published so far in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. In this series we are following uh, Fiera who one day asked, uh, while hunting for her family accidentally kills the fave wolf whose boss then comes and takes her to his court and stuff goes from there and then we have throne of glass uh, crown of midnight air of fire queen of shed and queen of shadows by sarah james first four books in uh, thorns uh, throne of glass series in which we are following uh, an assassin called Selena Serdotian who, uh, one, uh, who prior to the events of this series has been captured and is slaving away in the salt mines and one day a captain of Kingsguard comes and takes her to the crown prince who gives her uh, an opportunity to become his champion in the fight to become in the the fight to become king's assassin then we have the gentleman's guide to rights and virtue by Mackenzie Lee in uh, this book we are following Monty who is just about to go on to his grand tour with his best friend Percy who may or may not be in love with 
and his younger sister. But of course, as it always go, uh, as it goes, not always everything goes as planned. Because why would something go as planned? Then it's not fun. I, I'm sorry, I have a lot of books around me. Then we have uh, Love Boats Tay Tay by Abigail Hank Wayne, in which we are following a girl named Eva Wong whose parents sent her away to this uh, summer educational program in Taiwan, but it ends up being a summer long party. Then we have Shine by Jessica Young, in which we are following. Okay, 17 year old Korean American Rachel Kim, who is a K pop Chinese, and if her label doesn't debut her now, they never will. And when the opportunity presents itself for her to sing a duet with her label's Golden Boy, she decides to snatch it. And actually, this is spot on portrayal of Chinese lifestyle because Jessica Young was actually a member of Girls' Generation. This one I actually brought yeah, yeah, for me. We have the first three books in Stormer Dark of series, which are The Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, and Oh, the Bringer, by, all by Brandon Sanderson. In this series, we are following a war between Aleti and Parshendi, which started a few hundred years ago uh, when Parshendi killed the Aleti king. And now the war itself lost its original meaning and now they're only fighting for sharp blades and sharp plates which are these magical swords and shields which grant their wearer some sort of magical powers. Then we have Assassin's Apprentice, Royal Assassin, Assassin's Quest, Fool's Errand, Golden Fool, Fool's Fate and Fool's Assassin, all by Robin Hood. In all of these books are following Fitz, who at the age of six has been left by his maternal grandfather at the keep, and lures of the keep for his father to raise him. His father being a crown prince who, after hearing that his bastard son is coming to him, abdicates the throne and goes to live in in the countryside, which lives within quite an unfortunate situation, which, le which ends up uh, with him being mostly raised by civil master Borg until the certain age when he is, uh, when the king decides he would be a good royal assassin and decides to train him. And then uh, we have Splintered, Unhinged and Snared by A.G. Howard in which we are following a girl who in this world is descendant of the woman who inspired Alice in the Wonderland. And uh, it starts with her going into uh, on the trip to London and falling down the rabbit hole into the Wonderland herself and stuff goes from there. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. Down below you have my social media, my email and some other stuff. I'll see you in the next one.